Hello, my name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. I'm here to talk about a new feature that was added to Nutanix Move 3.5, the ability to test your migration plans. I'm pretty excited about this feature as I actually requested this when I was a customer not too long ago. So let's jump right into Move and see how this new feature works. So here is the Move dashboard. Another change I would like to take a moment to point out is in that Move 3.5, under environments, we no longer have separate target and source environments. The environments have been consolidated down into just one set of environments. So whichever target you choose will determine which sources are supported. So let's go ahead and create a new migration plan. So we're just going to take the default name here and proceed on. Uh, we're going to choose our source. Uh, for this one, we're going to use ESXi. So currently, the only supported target for ESXi is Nutanix AOS. And of course, we have to choose our default storage. All right, now we're at the uh, Select VM stage. Um, so we're going to select our VM and go ahead and click Next. Now on the Network Configuration screen is where we see the Test Network options show up. If you do not want to test your migration, you do not have to choose a test network. If you want to be able to test your VM, you have to select your target network. Once you do that, your selection for your test network will become active. For your test network, I would suggest that the test network be isolated from your production network or non-routable, so you do not interfere with the currently running server that you want to test. From here on out, the screens are the same. You will need to prepare your VM, then save and start your migration. This only starts the data copy. You still have complete control on when to migrate and if you want to test the migration. Once your data has copied, you can hover over the in progress status. If it says ready for cutover, then it is ready for the test migration or the real thing. So we will click on in progress and do the test migration. On the migration screen, you will see another addition for testing migrations, the test actions dropdown. When you select your VM, you can then choose to test actions and we'll get the create VM option. We will do this now. The cutover time will apply to the test VMs, so this is a great way to test how long a migration will take, as well as verify that the server will come up with your data on the new location. Once you choose Create Test VM, you will see the migration status change as it walks through this process. This process should be relatively quick as Move syncs data every 10 minutes, so it does not have to copy a lot of the data. Through the magic of editing, we went ahead and sped this migration up. However, the creation of the test VM only took about a minute and a half in real time. When the View Test VM option shows up under Migration Status, the test VM creation is done. You can click on that to take you over to Prism Element to check on the VM. In Prism Element, you can identify the VM that is a test VM, as it will have Move Tests appended to the end. Let's open up the Remote Console and check if the VM is booted. Looks like everything is good, and from here you have a few choices. You can recreate the test VM, delete the test VM, or you can go ahead with the cutover. Let's head back over to Move and proceed with the cutover. The cutover will delete the test VM as part of the cutover process. Besides that, the process is the same with previous versions of Move. It will power off the source VM, disable the NIC, and as well add a note to the target VM saying it was migrated to Move and the date it was migrated on. Once again, through the magic of editing, we have sped up the rest of the VM creation. This VM also took about a minute and a half to two minutes to complete. The migration will be complete when it says View Target VM under Details. Move will continue to do cleanup on the source environment. However, the VM is powered on and ready to use, and the migration is complete. Thank you for watching this video on Nutanix Move. I hope you find the new test migration feature useful in helping you plan and execute migrations with Nutanix Move.